All right there. You're probably looking at this wondering, what the heck's a grown man got a Nintendo Switch in his hands for? Why does a grown man have a Nintendo Switch in his house? Those are valid questions. This isn't for me. This is for others in the house who enjoy this kind of thing. I, I have a problem with this controller and that's the reason for this video. It's something I wanted to get off my mind for a long time. Ever since I've been playing with this thing. Why am I playing with it? Well, sometimes I have to join in, you know? When other people are playing it, I gotta join in sometimes, I gotta... It's not like I have my own room and I have my stuff there and I can't join in with others when they're playing this thing. So this is my controller. Xbox One XS something or other. I don't know what they call the console these days. Anyway, so I'm used to this button layout here. X, Y, A, B. But for some reason on a Nintendo, it's backwards. It's reversed. A is here instead and B is there. Y, see, look, I'm confused even showing you. Y is here and X is here. I don't know why they've done this. I don't know who was first, but then the other one switched it around. It's such a hassle. I'm sitting there playing Zelda Breath of the Wild and I'm trying to pick up an item. It says, press X to pick it up. And I'm sitting there like this. Why is it not picking up? What's wrong with the controller? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong one. I have to look down at the controller and see, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. This is X. And then sometimes, I'm holding my sword or something and it says press this button to throw. No, I think the button to throw is this one. Well, it says press. There's always situations where it tells me to press some button and I'm like, okay, I don't want to do that. I want to do the other thing. So I go to press a button and it's the wrong one. And I end up doing the wrong thing. Uh, I guess an example is when I'm fighting with an enemy and I put my sword away instead of fighting with it or something. Or I jump off the horse by mistake. It's really, ir it's really irritating. And this controller. Okay, I'll give some plus to this controller. I'll give one plus to this controller. Yeah, it's nice and colorful. And although it looks stupid, like what kind of controller is this? Who the heck? came up with this design but it's not that bad to hold it it's not that bad and pressing the buttons is okay it's not that noisy either see this controller this is my main preferred controller but it has a problem hear that listen to this can't even hear anything nice and quiet that too, it's exactly the same as this side. Nice and quiet. But this, when I'm playing a stream and, and I'm pressing buttons. Man, that is annoying. This is a fault on this controller. But I don't know why they've made it so noisy. And they probably didn't think when they were making this. It's not that bad. Oh, it's not that bad, it's just a button pressing like well, you know what? I play in the middle of the night when I get my time, when I get my free time on the weekend, I play at night. And I don't want to sit there doing this behind closed doors. It sounds funny. You know? And I hate it when I'm on stream and all they can hear on the stream is... And then I'm button mashing on Mortal Kombat, I'm like... Just trying to get out of there. Well, don't button mesh then. Well, you know what? Sometimes it happens. So this controller beats this one in being quiet. That's a plus. That's really good. And then it's not that bad to hold it. This is much better to hold. Because it's designed for your hands. Like, this feels good. You know, your hands gripped something. This one is just like, uh, you're just holding two little handles. And there's some tablet pad here and you're like okay i gotta put my thumb here i gotta put my thumb here but this one's much better for holding it's just this noise fault 
See that? It's too noisy. And then this controller here, I don't like this silly gimmick taking this out and then having to reconnect it in the original Nintendo and then like who takes these things out and does this? Oh yeah, woohoo, yeah, woohoo. Like who who wants to play like that? I haven't even seen kids do that. If you ask a kid, they're like, hey, can we have this thing? Can you just put it in here for us? Like, it's much better to have a controller where all your buttons are there and your fingers can just move. Nobody wants to move around doing stuff like... Nobody... Nobody wants to move around doing stuff like this. Moving around and doing stuff like this, this is for people who... They're not very fit and they're thinking like, Oh, I can't go to the gym, so I'll get a Nintendo Switch instead so I can at least keep active, you know? It helps you to keep active, you know? It doesn't. You're just going to end up putting this here and sitting down. Or you'll put it on the main dock. So I hate this gimmick. It's not that bad, but I hate having to change it to this thing. See, this is this here. This is the Nintendo Switch. A small little screen. You take this thing off. Connected like this. Everybody knows. Everybody knows how a Nintendo Switch works. Or everyone who has one at least. And connected like this. There, it's connected. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I've always found holding this thing to be really horrible. It's it's horrible. It's like holding a Game Boy Advance is better than this. Or a Nintendo DS. Or what's the difference? I don't know. This it just feels crap to hold it. Like it would be much better if there's a screen in the middle. And you're holding this on the ends. You know? What's that thing that uh, PlayStation released? Those handles on the ends. So this thing, right? Th this thing is good for when kids sit and play on the sofa. But then they released this other thing called Nintendo Switch Lite, which is this same thing, except you can't disconnect. What's the point? What's the point of making it like this and making a Nintendo Switch Lite? Who's going to buy this and a Nintendo Switch Lite? Should have made it that this is a nice console that sits on your table with a nice controller, and then you have a Nintendo Switch Lite. Then you can just choose which one you want. But they made two same things, except this one disconnects. Why does it disconnect? Because this is how they advertise it, and it's so dumb. Let me disconnect this thing. All right. All right, so it's disconnected, right? They always advertise this thing as it's sitting up on a kitchen table, and there's two 40-year-old... 40, 45 year old looking people, they both have this little midget controller in their hand because it can be two player now if you hold it like this. And they're sitting there like, pew, 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 woo, yeah, I'm gonna beat you in the race, yeah, this is so much fun. Like the way they advertise it, it looks so impractical. Who's gonna sit on the kitchen table with this there? And there's two grown adults doing this. Grown adults just wanna sit down and watch TV, they don't wanna do all this crap. <laughs> does this why advertise it for like grown adults who's like there was this one advert where i saw a guy he come home from work and then he doesn't even go to sit down he just throws his bag down and pulls out his nintendo and he's like yeah finally i'm home and he's he's playing the thing it's not that fun <laughs> put your bag down go get fresh enough and then go sit on your sofa and Connect it to the TV and play like that. Uh, who wants to play like this? It's dumb. And and the f crazy thing is this thing is really successful. Really, really successful. I'm surprised. Maybe I'm wrong. But I had, I've had experience with this thing. This is my opinion. I would not buy this thing for myself.
dumb gimmick. They're making a Nintendo Switch 2. I wonder if it's going to be anything like this. It's going to be revealed soon. Should I even bother making a video on it? I'm, I'm just surprised I have something so silly can be so successful. This is good as a Nintendo Switch Lite. If it's going to be a console, this controller thing needs to improve. This disconnecting and all this crap, this needs to not be there. It's dumb. This is a controller. And maybe the PS5 controller is better than this one. I bought an Xbox controller because I play on the PC. This is Microsoft. PC is Microsoft too. And I imagine that they both connect very well with each other. That's why I bought this. Otherwise, I would have bought a PlayStation controller. I wonder if PlayStation controllers are as noisy. Maybe you can answer that for me. Anyway, I'm close to a thousand subscribers. I'm like 14 away. And I'd appreciate if you subscribe and help me out. Help me get up there. Thanks for watching if you watched.